Okay, so this lesson is going to be on multiplying binomials. And binomials, uh, by means two, and nomials means essentially numbers, terms. So when I say we're going to multiply binomials, I mean I'm going to take something that has two terms, and usually one of them, but the way we're going to do it, will be an x and the other one will be like a number. And then we're going to multiply that with another one that's kind of like that. Something like this. Now, some of you have done this already. Really, all of you should have seen this in some form at some point. Um, and uh, a lot of you remember, will probably, you know, you've heard the term foiling. Uh, and foiling, if your teacher, your Algebra 1 teacher uses this, usually this stands for first, outside, or outer, inner and last. And it's just kind of a way of uh, remembering the, the, what you have to multiply together. So if we come back over to this first example here, the way this one's going to work is to multiply those two together, really what you're doing is you're distributing. You're going to do 2x times everything over here plus 4 times everything over here. So um, that's what the FOIL stands for. So if I do 2x times everything else, I'm going to do 2x times x, right? So 2x times x is 2x squared. And then I'm going to do 2 times 2x times 3, so plus 6x. So that's the first and the outer terms, because the first terms are the 2x and the x, the outer terms are the 2x and the 3. Now we're going to do the inner terms, right? So that's 4 times x. And then we're going to do the last terms, which is 4 times 3. Right? So then if I simplify that just a little bit, I get this. Right there. Okay. So let's try a couple more examples here. So... Uh, I've got a few here. Mine are all just going to have just single x's, not a 2x or a 3x or anything like that. So next example, x plus 4 times x minus 2, and we'll see what that equals. So if we multiply the first terms together, x times x, I get x squared. And then the outer terms together, notice this one's a negative 2. So it's x times negative 2, negative 2x. Uh, then I'm going to multiply the inner terms together, plus 4x, and the outer terms together, or the last terms together, minus 8. So this one turns into x squared plus 2x when I combine these terms, minus 8. Okay, next one. Let's try this one. x minus 6, x minus 3. So if I work this one out, I got x times x, which is x squared, x times negative 3, which is negative 3x, negative 6 times x, which is negative 6x, and negative 6 times negative 3, which is positive 18. So then if we simplify this, we get x squared minus 9x plus 18. Okay, so there are three examples. Uh, what I want you to do now is try these examples on your homework. Okay, so number four, uh, let's do x plus six times x minus three. Number five, let's go with x plus one times x minus five. And number six, let's do x plus 2, x plus 12. Okay, so do these three on your homework, and uh, we'll go over them in class on Monday.